imagine you have a large student list in excel file and you need to manually filter out only the male student information from that excel file and that information you need to copy and paste it into another excel file what will you do if i ask you if you need to do this so you will say that i will open the excel file copy the data or filter data and then copy and paste it but tell me does it sound boring and time consuming if data is in large number of size then copy paste and filtering data manually may generate an error what if i will tell you that power automate can do this task without human intervention using power automate you can open the excel file you can filter out the data you can copy the data and paste it into another excel file without performing any task manually so that you can do your task faster and error free so in this video i will show you how power automate desktop flow can automate this process making it faster more efficient and error free by handling everything including opening and closing excel file with conditions and loop hi this is krupali from knowhow academy i welcome you all to power automate tutorial before going ahead in this video let me tell you what you will learn from this video first you will learn what is condition and how you can use condition in power automate desktop flow second you will learn what is loop and how you can use loop in power automate desktop flow and third thing you will learn how to copy data from one excel file to another excel file using looping and conditional statement in power automate desktop flow so without delay let's get started before telling you actually what is condition what is loop let me show you the end result first so here i have designed a flow which will copy data from this excel file let me show you this is the excel file which contain 100 student information when i run this flow or you can say when i run this power automate desktop flow it will filter only male student data from the excel file and copy the first name of a student into another excel file that is male student data now let me show you now here you can see that out of 100 or 100 and 30 students 51 students are male and it copy paste the data from one excel file to another excel file using iteration and condition so this is my end result now let's see how i perform this task step by step so first of all let me tell you what is condition and how you can use condition in power automate desktop flow In Power Automate Desktop Flow, a condition is a control that allow you to make decision within a flow. It check whether a specific condition is true or false and perform different action based on the result, enabling a flow to branch and handle different scenario dynamically using conditional statement. Now let me show you the practical implementation of that now this is flow which is using condition uh, in my power automate desktop flow but i will design a separate flow which will show you only the conditional statement then i will design a flow which will show you the looping statement and then we all together combine this flow and make our entire flow so let me minimize that and let me create a new flow and give a flow name as a condition and click on create Now here whenever we are taking a condition in power automate we need to take the decision or we need to compare the thing and take a decision based on something so here i am designing one flow which will tell me whether the value of a variable is equal to 10 or not so for that i will take one variable so you need to go to the variable and here you can check the value sorry not check but here you can uh, take the appropriate action but to uh, take a variable and assign value inside that one action name is there that is set variable so you can double click so it will automatically added 
and here you need to give a variable name so i am giving my variable name as a variable a and initialize with the value 10 and click on save now here the actual thing comes that how you can take conditional statement in power automate desktop flow so for that you need to write if generally if is action which will allow power automate desktop flow to check whether the condition is true or false based on some operation that is equal to less than greater than or anything so here here you can see that if and else if if you want to check only one condition then if statement is okay if you want to check multiple condition in that case if and else if you need to take it but in our scenario here i am taking only one uh, value that is variable a and checking whether the value of a is equal to 10 or not so that's why i am taking if so let me just drag it here and here you need to mention first operand first operand means what value you want to compare so i want to compare the variable a value so here you need to select that variable which you have taken in the previous step so if you click on x here that variable will be visible so double click on that automatically it will be added now you want to check that variable value with the 10 so that is if the variable a is equal to 10 so for that you need to select the operator equal to if you expand that you will see the different operator available which you can use in your conditional statement but right now i am using equal to and then what value you want to compare so generally when we writing a equal to 10 so left hand side a is considered as the first operand and right hand side whatever value we have written or if we have written any other thing after the equal to that is considered a second operand so here i will write a second operand as a 10 and here you can click on okay so here if condition is added now what if the condition is true that i need to mention inside this if and else sorry not else but if and and so i want to display a message so i will search for the action display message and put it between the if and 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 what message box title you want to give so here i want to give a title as demo and what you want to display i want to display that value of a equal to 10 or just i want to display a is 10 so you can write like that uh, equal and then you can select the variable so whatever the value of variable a it will display here you need to keep it in mind that how you want to see the message box now keep message box always on the top that means whatever the window is open automatically message box will come on the top so always mention that top okay then close uh, close message box automatically so it will appear and then it will disappear so i don't want to close it automatically so i'm keeping this switch off and click on save so here my condition is designed so let's save and run it okay now if you run it you will see that a uh, message box is coming and 10 value is uh, displaying and it will display by default ok message when i click on ok then it will go to the next step so this way you can use conditional statement in microsoft power automate desktop flow here you can add else if to check other uh, value or let's say you want to check whether the value of a is equal to 20 there may be a possibility that value cannot be uh, 10 so here you can uh, search for else if and here you can drag it after that okay and here you can uh, search for the second operand uh, not not second operand but first operand and it is equal to 20 okay then what if you want to do if that condition is true then i want to display a message uh, that 20 value okay so again i will take that display action and put it after that and here again i will say demo and then i want to display the variable and save now here i am changing the value 20 uh, and then save it and run it 
So here you can see 20 is appear. Now it will not go inside the first if condition. Why? Because the value of A is 20. So this way you can uh, take multiple if uh, statement. So I hope you understand how you can use conditional statement in power automate desktop flow. Now let me tell you the second thing. What is loop and how you can use loop in your power automate desktop flow. In Power Automate Desktop Flow, a loop is a control that allow you to repeat a set of action multiple time. It helps you to iterate over the collection such as row in Excel file and perform the same operation on each item, making it useful for automating repetitive tasks efficiently. So this is loop in Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Flow. Now let me show you the practical implementation of loop that you can use in your Power Automate Desktop Flow. So here in final flow I implement for each loop. So let me show you how you can include different type of loop in your Power Automate Desktop Flow. So for that let me take a new flow and give a flow name as a loop and click on create. Then uh, I will first take variable that is set, set variable value. Why? Because I want to iterate uh, some amount of time. Let's say I want to iterate 5 time, I want to iterate 3 time, I want to iterate 2 time. So for that I will take one variable which will take care of that how many time I want to iterate a loop. So let's say variable i. I am taking and I am initializing it with the value 1 and click on save. Now if you write loop here in action you will see that there are loop condition, loop, for each loop, next loop and exit loop for uh, sorry 5 different types of loop available. So in our scenario I will explain for each loop and loop this 2 type of loop in Power Automate Desktop Flow. So let me first uh, tell you how you can use loop. So just click that. Then you need to uh, write from where you want to start your loop. So I want to start my loop from the first value or from the one value. So you can select that variable and initialize your loop with the one. So that uh, why I am writing here variable i because i I initialize with the one. If you want to manually write one then you can write it. Then uh, it will end two. So I want to start with one and end to five. So I will uh, write five and how many time it will increment or by how much amount it will increment. So it will increment by one. So click on save. So here <coughs> you will see that loop index variable 1 and 2 5 that means it will run till 5 start with five, uh, 1 and then it will step it with 1 increase value or 1 increment value. Then inside that again I want to display a message that uh, uh, this is demo message and let's say I want to display that what is the current value of loop index. So if you click on that here you will see the loop index and then you will display that uh, what is the current index of loop. Then let me save it and run it. So here you can see that first it will display 1. If you click on OK then second time it will display 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and it will end the loop. So you know to display message box 5 time with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 value here we have implemented the concept of loop. So I hope you understand how you can use the loop in your Power Automate desktop flow. Now here I told you uh, that I will tell you also how you can use for each loop. So here in our scenario I implement for each loop uh, if to copy data from one excel file to another excel file. So, uh, so in that demo I will tell you. Now let me tell you the third thing. How you can copy one excel file data into another excel file which implement the concept of loop and iteration in Power Automate desktop flow. So let me show you practically. So this flow I have already designed but I will show you how you can do it step by step. Okay. So uh, let me just close this. Now let me take a one flow and give a name of copy data. Excel 
and then click on create my flow is created then what is the first thing i need to do i need to open that excel file which is there in my download folder and then i need to read the data of the excel file so what i can do for that so first of all you need to write an action which will launch excel file so here in action search for launch excel file so here you need to uh, select that launch excel file and drag it now here you want to decide whether you want to open new excel file or whether you want to open any existing excel file so here i want to open that excel file which contain the student information so the name of the excel file is data so in microsoft power automate i will drop uh, i will select uh, open following document then from the path i will select the document path so it is there in my download folder and here you can see that and then you need to click on open so here that specific excel file will open and here uh, you can say that uh, whether you want to open it in a read mode or whether you want to open it in not in read mode so i'm not uh, mentioning anything just directly clicking on save now make sure when we are opening the excel file make sure that we are closing that excel file so let me just take an action close excel file uh, that close excel and here automatically uh, select the instance which you want to close it so here my instance is excel instance so it will close now after the opening and uh, before the closing i want to perform some action so after opening a file i need to read data from the excel file so for that one uh, action is there the name of the action is read data and then here you will see that read from excel worksheet so between that put that now from which excel instance you want to read the data so here you can see that uh, this is the ex existing excel instance now what you want to retrieve you want to retrieve a specific value or you want to retrieve the entire uh, value so i want to retrieve the uh, all available value which is there in excel file so here you need to select all available value from worksheet and then in advance when we are reading the excel data we make sure that we don't want to read the header of the excel file so here uh, you can uh, tick that first line of a range contain excel name that is in that excel file first row contain header so here in power automate dexter flow you need to just uh, switch on this first line of a range contain column names and click on save so here i will uh, open the excel file or you can say not i will but power automate will open the excel file then read data now after reading the data what what you need to do when we are reading the data i want to open another excel file and want to copy that so after that i need to take an action which will launch new excel file okay so just write excel uh, not excel but launch new excel uh, launch excel you need to put after reading it and then here this time i want to take blank document why because i want to take data from the uh, 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 previous excel file and want to paste it in new excel file so here you need to take a blank document and here you can uh, give a name to the instance as a variable new excel okay you can give any name why because here i am dealing with two excel instance so make sure that both of the instance name should be different then click on save then excel file will be launched now after that i want to give heading to the first column of the newly open excel file now let me open excel file now here when you open excel file your current cursor is here and your default column is a and inside a column at the first row you want to display the heading so for that i want to uh, take an action which will write data inside excel file so here i am not writing the 
data which is copied from the previous excel file but before copying i need to make sure that in which column i want to write data and where i want to write data and what should be the heading of the column so that's why i'm writing that mail student data manually using the action so let me just uh, close the excel file and go to my flow and after launching an excel you need to uh, search an action that write uh, excel worksheet after launching you need to write now what you want to write and where you want to write so in newly created excel instance i want to write so here you can select that excel instance variable new excel now what value you want to write so i want to write mail student data now where you want to write i want to write it on a specific cell if you select a current cell active cell or named cell you can select but i want to write it in a specific cell now in which column i want to write it in a column of the first row so let me click on save and after that you know uh, after writing i need to close that excel file so let me just take another action close excel and it sh you should put it before that and here which excel instance you want to close so i want to close that now here i do not finish that entire flow but let me save and test it and check it whether the flow will uh, work or not now when we are closing the excel file you know we need to make sure that we should save that excel file so here it is saying that do not save the document but i need to save document as a xls extension and what could what can be the name so i'm giving the name as a demo then demo.xls it will save so let me save and test it now here you can see that the excel file is launched close and let's check it whether it's uh, generated or not now here the data is in open mode so let me close it and check whether that uh, new excel file is generated or not now here i forget to mention where should i save that so here save document as excel workbook and here i have mentioned that let me just uh, run it again now here i cannot find that demo why because when i am uh, saving a file i did not provide a proper path so let me just go to the that close excel and here i need to uh, give a proper path so i want to save it under the downloads otherwise it will store in the document uh, folder by default so here let me select that download folder and give a file name as a demo and then open it so here your file will be saved under the download folder with the extension .xls now let's save and uh, test it again so here it is executing and then let's check it now here you can see that demo is uh, created and here you can see that in first column in the first row mail student data is written so i hope you understand it till now now let me do the main thing now i want to copy data from the excel file and paste it so what i need to do here after launching the new excel file and after writing the heading i need to make sure that where i should write so here if you can see that i need to write first name here uh, in the second row then third row fourth row and so on but every time column is fixed so for that i need to take a loop which will iterate row one by one so let me take a loop concept but before that i will take one variable which will uh, initialize the value by two and it will start writing from the second row so after writing in excel file let me take a variable set and then uh, let me just give a variable name as a row number and i will initialize with the value 2 and then click on save now here my row uh, or you can say row number is initialized after that i want to iterate each value which is read by that excel uh, read worksheet or uh, read from excel worksheet action so that you need to write you need to take for each and put it after the variable then what value you want to iterate so i want to iterate the variable 
row number so you need to double click and click on ok now here i am seeing that uh, current item in row number so it is generating an error so for each uh, loop will basically iterate item one by one but this variable contain only one value so it can it do not contain multiple value so that's why i cannot set it so let me double click on that and set that instance so excel data which is there in data table so let me just remove the entire thing first and select it again excel data and click save so now it is okay now inside that loop i want to write in excel workbook which is newly launched so here again you can write to excel worksheet and put it here between the loop now which excel instance you want to write now inside new excel instance i want to write now what value you want to write so i want to iterate or i want to write the current item and I want to write the value of a first name column. So inside a square bracket, you need to write double quotation and you need to give a column name. Now let me open that old Excel file and uh, copy the same column name. So let me copy and uh, paste it. So that column name value it will paste. Now one specific cell, yes. Then in which column A? So let me just write a column name A. Now at which row? I want to paste that value in second row, third row. So that is a row number contained here in variable row number. And then click on save. So every time it will paste data in second row. But not second row. I want to iterate or I want to increment the row number. So after that I need to uh, increase the value of a variable row number. So that uh, for that you can write increase or yes you can write increase variable. And here you need to put it before ending the loop now which value you want to increase so you want to increase row number now by how much amount you want to increase i want to increase by one now let me save it now here you can see that it will launch the excel it will read the data again it will open the excel file then it will write inside the data then it will iterate the item and then it will close but here according to our scenario we need to iterate or we need to write only male student data so inside a for loop i need to write a condition which will check whether the current item is uh, uh, or whether the current value of the student gender is male or not so here in my uh, excel sheet one column is there called gender which contain the information about whether the student is male or female so for that I, uh, inside a for loop i will add condition so search for if and put it here now inside the if condition i will write that statement which will uh, copy data in excel file and increase the value of the variable so first operand that is the uh, current item then again i need to mention that current current item of gender okay why because gender column item i want to uh, check and if it is male equal to then i will save it now that action i want to do inside if statement so if the data is male then it will write inside the worksheet and if it is written then i need to increase the value so here it is set so you know just by dragging the action inside an if condition it will be moved so here i saved uh, that uh, flow and done with the flow let's check whether it is working properly or not now see this is my uh, main excel file which has 101 student information now let me close that i'm not saving that then let me uh, delete that uh, demo because i have already created uh, and here second time i am saving it with the demo so let me save it and run it 
here you can see that the iteration is going on and here you can see that row number is increasing and here you will see that how many mail you will find it by at the end of executing the flow and you can see that the time which is taken by power automate desktop flow to iterate all hundred students data so wait until it's finished and here you can see that the data is written now see dynamically data is copy and pasted in that excel file so it will paste uh, it, it is reading data from this main excel file and pasting it here you can see that i'm not copy pasting uh, manually but power automate is doing it by itself and here you can see that so flow finish its execution within some seconds or some minutes and you can see that it iterate over the uh, 100 and 101 item and out of that you can see that 52 student data i found whose gender is male now let me go to the download folder and open that demo file and you can see that all the information is written. I did not uh, manually paste it but Power Automate Desktop Flow done that. So I hope you understand how you can copy data from one Excel file to another Excel file using loop and iteration in Power Automate Desktop Flow. So before ending this video, let me tell you what you have learned from this video. First, you have learned what is condition and how you can use condition in Power Automate Desktop Flow. Second, you have learned what is loop and how you can use loop in Power Automate Desktop Flow. And third thing, you learn how you can copy data from one excel file to another excel file using loop and condition in power automate desktop flow or you can say that how you can iterate excel file using power automate desktop flow so thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.